One of the new kids on the block for this season, Jesper Kennegaard already seen right at home in Yangon and on the Asian tour. The Swedish Q School graduate is a geography buff and he can prove it by naming all the capital cities of the world. Myanmar. Uh, Nepido. Okay, that'll get a big tick. Uh, <laughs> Cambodia. Uh, Phnom Penh. Sweden. Uh, Stockholm, obviously. <laughs> Finland. Helsinki. USA. Washington. Australia. Canberra. India. Uh, Delhi, New Delhi. Thailand. Bangkok. Malaysia. Uh, Kuala Lumpur. Indonesia. Jakarta. Mm -hmm. Azerbaijan. Baku. Burkina Faso. Ouagadougou. Wow. I'm pretty vulnerable out in the, the islands, like above Australia and New Zealand, but I'm pretty good on, like, on land, the big, big, uh, what do you call them? Continents? Continents, thank you. Jesper hasn't constantly had his nose in encyclopedias, though. He's travelled extensively through Asia and the rest of the world. In Yangon, he explored the magnificent Shwedagon Pagoda, a centre for Buddhism in Myanmar, and a testament to the country's glorious past. The first pagoda was built here more than 2,500 years ago, and the central golden structure reaches almost 100 metres into the air. It's fun to come here. As I said, I don't see a lot of cultural stuff when I travel around and play golf. It's more, most of the things I see is just hotels and I mean, golf courses and, and my clubs, but not this time. So hopefully they'll get here tonight. Jesper put concerns about his missing golf clubs to one side to take in the moment. His visit to Schwedegon Pagoda coincided with a meeting of Myanmar's monks. 1,000 of them travelled from around the country for an annual spiritual conference. No, it was fun to see. I mean, I've never seen monks like that before, so definitely. You're often a great adventure, aren't you? Yeah, I think so at least. I mean, I, I haven't played this tour before, but I travel around Asia quite a bit. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a big adventure for me, yeah. It's a long way from the snowy streets of Stockholm, but he's been on a one-way trip to professional golf since the age of five. For several years, Jesper was the top-ranked junior amateur in Sweden and world number eight. It was me and a few other guys that like, stood out there and played with the Swedish national team for a while and European amateur and world boys and world am as well. And then I went over to Arizona State in college. Naturally, his namesake, Jesper Parnovic, was an inspiration. While in Asia, it's Rickard Kahlberg showing the way for Swedish players. I heard Rickard came down here and he's won twice, I think, which is pretty impressive in some big events and played good in some co-sanctioned events. So, I, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a good road to go. It was really good uh, amateur uh, record and just, just got pro. So, uh, I think he's really excited and hungry and I, I, I I know he will do good. It wasn't an easy entry into Asia for Jesper, though. He came within one shot of elimination at the first stage of Q School in Thailand. But he played better in the final stage, eventually finishing 12th to set his career in motion. This sport is just, you don't have any marginals to, to make mistakes. And sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. So this time I got lucky. and. In the, definitely in the right tournament too, to get my card and play probably 15 events here this year. So I'm excited, looking forward to it. At 23 years old, Jesper is fit and fired up for his first real crack at professional golf. He'll take an aggressive attitude into his rookie season. Uh, obviously, I always want to win, but I want to play some good golf and get my professional career going so I don't fall back just uh, try to work up that ladder. And as we'll soon see, Jesper took his chance to shine in Myanmar, the land of gold.